Hello everybody, welcome to the new live stream. Now from Moscow again. The famous Gorky Park, the central park of culture and leisure of Moscow. Wow, I can't believe it as soon as I started to film the rain started. It's no good at all. The rain again. For the whole friggin' day, here wasn't the rain. Just as soon as I started to film, here is the rain started. I hope it's not going to be like the one two days ago in Ufa when it was so long lasting. Dudes, dudes, hello everyone, another live stream on uh, my channel. Okay, 8th of July 2020. My name is Sergey Baklakov. You're watching Real Russia Channel. Another live stream here. And uh, at this time, from Moscow, the capital of Russia, I'm in front of the central entrance to the famous Gorky Park, also known as the Central Park of Culture and Leisure in Moscow, Russia. Well, here is the rain started, but I hope it's not going to be a long, I hope it's not going to be for a long time. This is a part of uh, the garden, garden ring, so-called garden ring road of Moscow. You see, this is so-called Tretyakov Gallery. 
that's the gallery for a uh, contemporary arts. It's a pretty huge building and there is the galleries. For example, here I remember I saw the original of uh, the Black Quadro of uh, Kazimir Malevich, you know, world famous um, picture where it's just a Black Quadro. How you call it? Black Quadro, right? Well, if literally to say Chorne Quadrat, it's like Black Quadro. And this is the park which is called Museon. But today we go to Gorky Park, come on. To get there, we have to go through uh, the underpass. they sell different shirts. Don't forget to give like, the rain is over, I hope we'll not start again. Give like, comment, and yeah, don't forget about super chats, like Valeria Martinez already did, thank you so much. Let's keep going. So Gorky Park. Founded in 1928. It's named after Maxim Gorky. He used to be one of the most significant Soviet writers. One of those who actually founded such a genre as the social realism in literature. Famous Gorky Park. <laughs> the cent these central gates were constructed way after the park itself was founded. They were constructed in 1955. You see this? It is definitely made in a monumental Stalinist Empire style. And look, I'm not sure how it is now, but normally there's the uh, observation platform right on the top of the gate so you can get there and you can walk all around there Lenin Vladimir Lenin the founder of USSR Bruce 
juice holds. You are working like crazy on this stuff. Broadcasts every day, crazy. Well, I'm enjoying. Well, look, now there is the museum of the park. And there is the souvenir store. And somewhere there have to be the entrance. to the top I think it's a good idea you know to make the observation platform on the top and look at this wonderful columns It's awesome, I think. It's definitely awesome. Got inside of park through the central gates, through the central entrance. And here's such an LA. Meet us. The bushes with an awesome flowers. Gorky Park. It's really huge. It's really huge park and right in the center. It's really the central park of Moscow because it's located in the center of the city. It's a real great oasis, a real great and huge oasis inside of Moscow, Gorky Park, big time. The weather is not sunny today, but pretty warm, pretty warm, like plus 27 degrees Celsius. It's pretty warm. And actually, I like such a weather 
unless no rain. In a weekend, usually uh, more than 100,000 people are coming here. And at least uh, 20, 25,000 uh, people coming here in a regular, in a regular days. It's, uh, by the way, a great place for young people to date. <laughs> Lots of Cute ladies. <laughs> the central fountain. Whoa, big time. Look what she's doing. Come on. Those are some crazy Russian ladies. They are probably some kind of TikTokers or Instagrammers who are making things like this in order to get more likes. Meanwhile, some new super chats, Ray Android. Hi, Sergey, I'm in Moscow. Yesterday you were in Ufa. Whoa, quick traveler. Very nice park. It seems clouds are chasing you everywhere. Yes, already in Moscow. And this is the beginning of already the third road trip. But at this time, I'm alone, not with my family. They are decided to take a break. Uh, Gabby Hyman, is the Russian accent different in St. Petersburg and Moscow? How about an Ufa accent? Actually... Uh, I, I don't see the big difference in accents in Moscow, in St. Petersburg and in Ufa. I just think that people in Ufa talk uh, faster. That's what I can say for sure. Faster than Moscovites. Awesome park, that's for sure. Uh, back in the Soviet days, the concept was to create 
raids the park where the workers will have a pretty quality uh, and cultural leisure. The Soviet governments used to understand that people need not only to work and uh, to recover the country after the uh, World War, especially after World War, but they also need a quality leisure. And here was uh, uh, many places for sports, for cultural events, uh, symphony concerts, exhibits, and more and more and more. I can feel some drops. I can feel some drops of the rain again. Damn. I really don't want to get under a huge rain here in this park where actually not too many places under the roof. Uh, bicycle and electronic scooters rentals are everywhere in Russia now not only in the park yeah the traffic the car traffic is crazy in, uh, in Moscow so like more and more people prefer metro or uh, bicycles big time In Gorky Park nowadays, a lot of um, different cafe, restaurants, and other commercial things. However, here is also enough of just a free events are happening. Look, one of the uh, greatest advantages of Gorky Park that it is not only located in the central uh, in the center of Moscow but that it goes along it goes along Moskva River when a week ago together with my family we were riding we were riding through Moskva River we actually was riding through this place too Look at this bridge. You know how it's called? It's Crimean Bridge. And of course, it used to be Crimean, Crimean Bridge uh, way before all of those troubles between Russia and Ukraine. And there, on the background, that's the uh, uh, Church of the Savior, 
Church of the Christ the Savior. Really huge one. Well, that is the ferry. Uh, since 23rd of July, uh, June, in Moscow, the river boat cruises uh, along Moskva River, they are allowed again. Uh, here is available as such a yet Soviet boats, river boats, as the new ones. That, that is the new one. On the background, that's the Ministry of the Defense of Russia. Uh, not everybody understands what exactly means defense. Well, that's like the Ministry of uh, an army. They control the army. And look, here is the part of embankment where such as steps. And you can sit down here, just enjoy. Moskva River, uh, Frunzinske Embankment, em Frunzinske Embankment there, and uh, all of the river cruises. Look, that's Moskva, Moscow River Boat Cruise, exactly uh, same type of uh, river boat cruises that recently uh, we were riding in Kostroma through the Volga. Volga River in Kostroma. Look, another Moskva. This is the serial river boat cruise. River cruise boat. Yeah, river cruise boat. Moskva. They have all the same name, but just different numbers. One, two, three, four. Every, everywhere here sounds the music and I really need to be careful about the music that sounds uh, when the music sounds uh, YouTube recognize it and recently uh, my yesterday's video I've got a message that it was like blocked in some countries that's because an owner of one of the tracks that got into the records and was recognized by YouTube um, well, the owner of one of the songs prohibits prohibit to play the video with this track in some certain countries. For example, uh, in Canada, in Canada, it was blocked. What a bullshit, you know. At first, all of the artists wants like uh, as more people as possible to listen to their tracks. Now they block. Well. But most of, most of uh, copyright owners of the, of the songs, they just say, okay, so let the video with my music play, but just uh, share the revenue with, with me from the monetization. So it makes sense. But sometimes there's such a stupidity that they just don't want the video with... Uh, they're tracking it to be available for watching. Jerome, thank you. Thank you for joining membership. Big time. Uh, by the way, here is, it's all the uh, bike rentals with also some uh, food, food places.
чайное мороженое. It's like tea ice cream. The rain started again. You know, it's starting it's and stops. Starting and stops. Maybe finally I will get to a huge raindrop. So the Ministry of Defense Pickles, thank you for joining membership. The embankments of uh, Gorky Park. I probably need to take care about going at least closer to the trees in case if now the rain will be started. Damn. In my uh, previous road trips uh, along Volga River and Golden Ring, I was super lucky with the weather. Now maybe I will be I will be super not lucky, super bad lucky. Like two days ago, you know, two days ago in Ufa, I was all completely all wet. Here is the uh, one of the sport areas in Gorky Park. It's a beach volleyball. Look at this, these guys playing beach volleyball. Uh, who do you think playing beach volleyball? They seem like a nice guys, those. This is a bitch volleyball. Now the uh, Buran shuttle is already for like several years. 
uh, is in All Russia Exhibition Center. And I was showing this like 10 days ago when I've been here, 10 days ago with my family. Back in the days, this territory actually used to belong to some noble families. And uh, Nicholas, Tsar Nicholas actually purchased um, this land from them. But in the Soviet days, when the Soviet authority came, it was nationalized. Now here comes the thunder. Gorky Park. the park, the central park of culture and leisure, also known as Gorky Park, 
because named after Maxim Gorky, one of the most significant Soviet writers, actually the one who founded such a genre as the social realism in literature. Back in Soviet days, the idea of this park was to give a quality, a quality leisure for the workers. People definitely will need the place like this. The people who were constructing the new Moscow Gorky Park, big time. For sure, for sure. So I told you that uh, this land used to belong to the noble families, like uh, Trubetsky, Galitsyny. And look, this pond is called Pond. Galitsyn Pond. Galitsyn. You can get a uh, catamaran there. Galitsyn Pond. By the way, uh, in uh, closer to 1990s, this uh, park looked uh, way different than it is now. Now the park looks more like an original park here, but in the uh, late Soviet days, Gorky Park was turned into more like an amusement park. Here was over hundreds of uh, an attractions and most of them were removed. That's a real interesting playground, I think. Not a typical one. On a uh, marine thematic, there's the lighthouse, abandoned ship. A huge reconstruction here actually started uh, just in 2010, 2011, when they started returning this to more uh, the historical view. Abu Hamid Al Ghazali, get down! Get down! <laughs> uh, 
probably a bad idea to drive it alone because here you make it work with a with your own physical power pizza mento Now I'm enjoying Moscow Gorky Park, but already in the morning I will go to St. Petersburg. Uh, through the absolutely new M11 M11 uh, toll roads. This is a toll road, one of only a few toll roads on the territory of Russia. Here in Russia, we have only very few toll roads. So M11 is one of them. It's uh, also known as Niva M11. It's uh, Moscow Saint Petersburg roads. M11. Uh, there is actually still an old free interstate uh, from um, St. Petersburg to Moscow and from Moscow to St. Petersburg. But if you will, if you want to go faster, uh, you go to the toll roads. Toll roads is way wider, way bigger. The speed limits there is higher, so you go faster there. Uh, when I will come to St. Petersburg then, together with uh, another bloggers of St. Petersburg, we will go to Pskov, Vyborg, Ivan Gorod, Ivan Gorod. Uh, we also will go to the Republic of Karelia. We also will go to a new and old Ladoga. Old Ladoga, that's the very, very, very first capital of Russia. It's even, uh, it was uh, before the capital. The capital even before the Novgorod the Great was the capital of Russia. Old Ladoga, Stara Ladoga. Okay, William Lapointe. William Lapointe, uh, thank you so much for a super sticker. You're amazing. Thank you. Uh, editor TMS Sergey, you should you should have t-shirts with real Russia on the front and like and subscribe on the back Advertisement while you and family are about that's not a bad idea uh, Let's see but you know in the same time. I just don't want to attract too much of attention uh, When I'm doing things I don't know so I will discuss it with my family. But anyway, thank you for a uh, super chat. Galitsyn Pond. Galitsyn, так сказать. Galitsyny, Trubetsky. Знаете ли? I photobombed them. But come on. If you're making this in a public sp space, you have to expect that. I hear the thunder now for really the last 10 minutes here, but still no rain. Oh, 
big time big time square a garden Big time. They are running big time. I got back to the embankment, Moskva River, the Ministry of uh, Defense of Russia. The ministry which controlled the army. Pedestrian bridge. There is no cars, it's just pedestrian bridge. Yes, it's covered with a glass. Yes, now you can say this is back in USSR because now this park looks like it originally had to look like and used, used to look like then in the late Soviet days it was transformed more into, uh, into amusement park here was like over hundreds of attractions Gorky Park turns slowly turns into Niskuchny set, Niskuchny garden. Literally, it's not a boring garden.
<laughs> yeah, that's how it's called. Not a boring garden. This is a dancing area, dancing area on the embankment of Gorky Park. Um, sometimes I remember I saw here like really many, many pairs. Many people were dancing vals or samba. It was amazing. Probably they are making a mass dancings on a weekend now it's not a weekend you know Cool. Look, the monument to the water diver. Here is one more dance hall. Now this reminds me a little bit, a little bit about St. Petersburg. I can't believe finally tomorrow I will be in St. Petersburg and actually for one night, um, for a while, yeah, but for one night, but I will sleep in my own bed. I need to drink something, dude. It seems like going to take long. <laughs> Get a hot dog. Thank you, Ronald, but I don't want to eat now. I ate just before I started streaming.
А, вот можно ли Берн? Просто Берн, да. Оплата по карте. Секундочку. Burn. I need some energy. Big time. Россия, Россия, вы посмотрите, вы посмотрите, Россия. Горький парк и Москва Ривер inspired the Scorpions to write a song wind of change Sporty Russia. Whoa, look at this. Wheel boat. Wheel engine. Look, not healthy. 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 Not healthy. Healthy. Not healthy. Whoa. Big time. Do you think it's a big time? Not healthy too.
what the hell this is for the first time I see the advertisement boat whoa look another one it seems like they purchased them only this year I mean they seem old but here for Moskva River they purchased them just this year it seems or maybe last year but I don't rem I, I I can say for sure that I never saw the wheel boats before in Moscow and this is Moskva probably the most the most serial river boat cruise I actually I pretty like I pretty much like Moskva river boats it's cool and no wonder they are still working and still looking pretty good Motherfucker, the whole lane for you. Now it's really like nostalgia about St. Petersburg. And look, that's also how Gorky Park and Niskuchny Garden there will turn to the Sparrow Hills. Vorabiova Gore, Sparrow Hells. Call Mak Maktormak. Call Maktormak. You have a great channel. I feel like I'm on vacation watching the live streams. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dennis McKee, big time Sergey, big time Dennis. As Koylikin, thank you. Now it's 100% like in St. Petersburg when there is uh, such a steps down to the river. Dive into the river. It's... Come on, I'm not gonna do this. It just makes no sense, you see.
seems like sometimes the waves are as big as look they are getting on the embankment otherwise where from all of this water here and there Hello to Warsaw, 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 Poland. Look, I just, I just realized I'm not sure how to say Warsaw in English. In Russian, it's Warsaw, Warsaw. Yeah, like two days ago when we were riding on a boat it was absolutely hit but the music those on that on exactly that river boat was so so bad Нескучный сад, нескучный garden, not a boring garden. I think it's a, it's a funny name for a garden, not a boring garden, which is here. And then it all turns into the Sparrow Hills. Moskva River. Look, there here is Moscow Moscow River and they're down to Gorky Park. Moskva, Moskva, Moskva. Moskva, 
Москва. Москва. Россия. Well, it might, it might seem windy, but not that windy. Correct, Susan, Moscow is very beautiful. Россия, Россия. Россия, Россия, величие, мощь. Вы это, вы это видели? Вы видели это? Wow, Sparrow Hills. There's already the Sparrow Hills. Okay, dudes, uh, some time ago, I told you that probably sometimes 
the waves here are getting as high as uh, the water floods here but now i see it is not the waves look because look it seems like here is the problem with uh, some kind of you know like a pouring system Hmm. Okay, seems like the water after the rain uh, goes down from the uh, hills. Got it, got it. little swimming pool it's a pond which is called Crimean Bridge Let's keep exploring. Gorky Park, not a boring garden. Москва, Москва.
No swimming. Look, there is the building of uh, Russian Academy of Science. Neskuchny Garden. Not a boring garden. You see, there's uh, many, many things inside. It's really hard to check it all. We are already getting closer to the uh, Sparrow Hills. <clears throat> it's cool that here is actually pretty long embankment. You can walk through a very huge part of uh, the center of Moscow just uh, through this embankment, just going through this embankment. Uh, those who just joined, let me tell you that uh, uh, today I came to Moscow. I came to Moscow. And uh, this is the beginning of the next road trip. Already tomorrow in the morning I will go to uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, together with some other bloggers from St. Petersburg. Uh, we will drive through the new interstate, which is called M11. There is 11 interstates which has the letter M. That means the interstate 
that leads to Moscow or from Moscow. And uh, M11 is the only toll road out of all M interstates and uh, one of not many toll roads at all in Russia. And uh, we will drive through the toll road M11, also nicknamed as Niva. Niva. Uh, the old M10 interstate, which is free road from Moscow to St. Petersburg, also still exists. And uh, you always have an option to go through the old free interstate or to go through toll roads and uh, pay some money for this. So I will come to St. Petersburg yesterday. There will be like a chill day and uh, at least for one night, but I will sleep in my own bed. I will have a chance to make a quick jump to apartment where I live. which is good and then I will traveling to Pskov Republic, uh, Pskov region, Leningrad region and uh, the Republic of Karelia. It's going to be another cool, cool road trip. Edward Turner, meanwhile uh, some of your super chats are keep coming. Hello, Sergey. I have just logged on, but we'll watch later from the beginning. Moscow, my wife's all-time favorite city. She has been there three times. Cheers from Australia. Cheers to Australia from Russia. Yeah, Moscow is awesome. But you also have to check St. Petersburg to make sure that Moscow is your favorite. Wow, the rain started. The serious rain. And here we already go along the Sparrow Hills. Vorobyovy Gore, Sparrow Hills. I'm actually trying to go under the trees. You see here is still dry spots. So at least a little bit, but it is defending me. Okay, here I got a little correction. These hills are Lenin hills, Leninsky, Leninsky hills, Leninsky gore. But anyway, it's like the same massive. And there we already, we because of the rain, it's hard to see, but there is a Moscow State University. It's not like in a fog. Yes, next time I will get an umbrella. Come on.
well this sidewalk is much better Okay, now this is a full-scale rain started. I'm staying here under the trees more or less protected from the rain. Well, now it probably will take a while before I can go somewhere. The rain is huge. And not gonna stop. Jay Gibson, thanks, Sergey. We all owe you a great debt for your hard work. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I do my best. Yelena, bye. Thank you for watching. Sergey is unstoppable. Damn, this rain is not gonna stop too soon. Siva Gnanam. You must have an umbrella with backpack next time. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. But I just I just came out from the hotel without backpack at all. Uh, well, yeah. I was just too spoiled for the last, I don't know, three weeks. 
with being so lucky about a good weather just everywhere I go. Damn, now see, even the trees are not helping. No good, no good at all. And now here is yet a thunder. Now it's really started annoying me. Two days ago I was all wet. All wet in Ufa. Now I'm gonna be all wet in Moscow. unsure like if it makes sense to go forwards because well I've been to Gorky Park many times and to Niskuchny Garden but here I'm for the first time Ronald it sucks to be you next time check the radar before you go out well, I was I was checking out the weather and like you know the uh, probability of the rain was like 50%. 50% is like uh, maybe yes, maybe no. Well, I hope, um, well, it's not a big deal about me, but I hope that at least uh, my phone and my steady cam will not uh, fuck up. I would love for a Moscow girl to do me wrong. Sergey stand in a thunderstorm under a tree. Maybe then he will become the hero of Marvel Flash. Time to walk deep into the forest. Yeah, it seems like this tree is already not helping much. You're a savage, Sergey. You should carry plastic crap. Yeah, would be a good idea. Rain will stop soon. Who knows? Sometimes rains can go for hours. No taxi in a park. Yeah, no taxi. No chance to get a taxi here. Okay, run until the bridge. Should I have to run this way to Metro Bridge? Susan, thank you for love.
the Metro Bridge. dry spot Yes, but I'm enjoying this. But that's the adventure. Well, now this is for sure the Sparrow Hills and there is Luzhniki Stadium the stadium where was the ceremony of opening and closing the Summer Olympic Games in 1980 in Moscow You guys, at least don't forget likes.
by the way we are right under the metro bridge it's a two level level bridge on the upper level there's the like a usual bridge for the cars and the second level that's where is the metro station there is the metro station I'm not sure what they are doing Again, guts under the rain. Well, as soon as the rain will be stopped, I will get to the place where I can request the taxi, Yandex taxi, Uber, and go to the hotel. But, but you know, you've got all the impression about what is Gorky Park of Moscow, Niskuchny Garden, and the Sparrow Hills. I need actually to figure out how to get to Metro. Maybe, maybe, maybe better go with Metro. I don't know. Those back go upstairs to the metro.
Okay, you're freaking cheapskate. Okay. That's right, it's really close. Где здесь это? Оплатить картой. Окей. I'm inside of the station. Sparrow Hills. Now we are on a bridge, not under a bridge. Well, in Moscow, it doesn't matter if you miss the train because trains here comes every two minutes, so nobody care about it. Okay, I definitely I don't need. Not this side. <sighs> okay. Okay.
The map of Moscow Metro. You see how many lanes? Станция Фрунзенская. 
проезд метро и на МЦК возможен только в маске и перчатках. Watch a bit. Hi, Sergey. Again, a bit late to the live stream. Had to work late. Gorky Park is very interesting. Never been there, but did see a movie called Gorky Park. Have a great tour. Uh, thank you, big time. Thank you, big time. Antis antiseptics for free.
when it's not many people inside of metro you have to stay from the right if you're not in a hurry and uh, you have to keep the left lane free for those who hurry up and are running but in a peak hours it makes more sense for all to stay on like on both sides Also, do you guys know so that uh, the handrail goes some faster than the escalator? The next station is Oktyabrskaya. Будьте вежливы, поступайте места инвалидам, пожилым людям, пассажирам с детьми и беременным женщинам. Проезд в метро на Ютуб возможно только в Москве. The next station is Dobrinitska. Для вашей безопасности держите изоборочник. Будьте осторожны, выходя из вагона.
Советский Союз, СССР, а это в советские времена, о, а это в советские времена, у.
The rain is over. I came to Paveletskaya. Paveletskaya Square. This is Paveletsky Railway Station. From here there goes an Air Express, an Air Express to Domu Dedovo. Uh, today I flew from Ufa to the airports of Domodedovo, one of three airports in Moscow. And uh, from Domu Dedovo, I came fast for only five bucks, even less, 300 rubles for four bucks. I came right here and uh, I've got the hotel room just uh, behind the corner. Okay, time to read your super chats that I missed during the metro rides. Okay, President of the World, thank you. Dana Sisbaro, appreciate you sharing your experience with us, Sergey. Welcome. And uh, President of the World, thank you once again. Look, it's interesting, but this construction goes here already for like three, four years at least. And they are like just, like they are just starting. I'm not sure what they are making there for so many time. So this is Paviletsky railway station, Paviletsky railway station, Paviletsky Vakzal. Yes, I'm in Moscow now. Let me remind you, this is already the third road trip starts. Uh, now I came to Moscow. Tomorrow, uh, through the M11 toll road from uh, Moscow, I will go to St. Petersburg. And then Leningrad region, Pskov region, and the Republic of Karelia. So I told you that I've got a hotel uh, right behind the corner well it is here it is called new city new city inn
So here we are. The hotel is only 27 bucks. air conditioner, uh, desktop, bed, and such a uh, shower room. Okay, dudes, here I am, got back to the hotel room after Gorky Park and uh, actually I think it was a good idea to take a ride uh, with a subway not only it's uh, way cheaper than taxi but uh, I believe way faster because you don't have to stay in the traffic jams and uh, well, I also had a chance to show you all around there uh, nowadays, let me tell you that nowadays LTE internet works all over the subway without any, without any breaks. It's pretty stable LTE. Uh, well, at first it was like only Wi-Fi in the wagons, in the cars of uh, the electric train. Now it's just LTE and uh, seems like already nobody care about you know free wi-fi and uh, nobody trying to connect to free wi-fi because uh, the uh, mobile plans are pretty cheap pretty cheap in russia um well for example like unlimited internet plans you can you can find starting from six uh, seven bucks which is pretty affordable uh well on my plan on megaphone I have unlimited internet uh, for social networks, uh, which is also YouTube. And I have like 20 gigabytes for anything else. And I never exceed these limits. Uh, often people asking me, uh, how come I stream so much? Uh, probably it's expensive for data, but uh, fortunately, fortunately not. Uh, maybe later, the, maybe later then they will make to pay people more but well it all will happening slowly um people people love unlimited internet here it is already like you know like a must it's uh, taking so much taking so much for granted yeah big time big time uh okay so now i will sleep i will sleep big time because tomorrow in the morning uh, together with a group of uh, bloggers from St. Petersburg, I will take a tour and uh, we will start from Moscow and we'll go to St. Petersburg uh, by M11 toll road. So this is a new road and this is one of only few toll roads in Russia at all. And it's going to be interesting to see uh, what is the Russian toll roads, if it's really worth that and uh, how let's say internet will working there it's really interesting 
well, here, I, I came to Moscow a little bit earlier that, uh, to get, you know, the chance to, to show you something else. Well, uh, already for a long time, I wanted to show Gorky Park because this is one of the landmarks in Moscow that uh, so many foreigners know. And often you were asking to show uh, Gorky Park. So here it is. The only bad thing that uh, we were not that lucky with the weather but, well, this is life. This is life. The real life, real Russia. Um, thank you for watching. I'm starting the third road trip. Uh, so stay tuned and keep watching. I will try to make live streams every day. Stay tuned, keep watching. Comment, like, subscribe if you're not yet. Uh, keep uh, sending super chats that's contributing this channel and this videos live streams and also uh, don't forget about uh, the uh, page at realrussiablog.com slash road trip there also you can uh, contribute all the road trips around russia uh, the next uh, 15 days going to be exciting as well stay tuned stay tuned dudes Ron, you're welcome, Avaro59, welcome, welcome, thank you, thank you, yeah. I hope the trip is going to be pretty safe tomorrow. Chaz Brown, CH, Valeria Martinez, Skylab14, iPro, El Guero. Thank you all, dudes. Mark F, uh, JJNS, Dobre Noche, yeah, good, good night. Abu Hamid Al Ghazali. Uh, Dana Seasboro, Mark Delta, S. Kuliken, oh yeah, take an umbrella tomorrow, yeah, we'll do, we'll do, by the way, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, for only one night, uh, but finally, I will sleep in my, in my own bed, because uh, tomorrow I'll have a, a chance to make a quick jump at home, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, it's only one night, because after that, I, I will travel more, like Leningrad region, Pskov region, and uh, Republic of Karelia. Kostya, the Celtic Alpengin, Mert Alakir, Pavel Fedotov, Todd Metzger, big time, Scott Wheeler. Yeah, I tasted many bets lately. Uh, are you planning to visit Volgograd? Yes, but not sure when. Not sure when. Anatoly Yakimov, thank you. Loeni, Nat Natural Pot. Thank you all. Thank you all. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Gabby Hyman. Okay, bye, dudes. Bye. Hope you enjoyed big time.